know that voice. He is best known as the Phantom, but performer Michael Crawford has never limited himself to the Broadway stage. Crawford has just released a brand new album called A Touch of Music in the Night. Today, music correspondent Rona Elliott has more. And listen to the music of the night. Michael Crawford's commanding performance in Phantom of the Opera made him an international superstar. With his mesmerizing voice, the 51-year-old British-born singer transformed the sinister phantom into a romantic, brooding anti-hero. For Crawford, music is much more than just words and a melody. It relates to my life. It relates to people that I miss, that I may have lost, that may have passed away. You know, it may be my mother, it may be my father, it may be my grandmother. Your mother really encouraged you professionally in your career when you were much younger. What would you want her to know about your career? I hope that she would be... I, I remember when she, when she went, uh, what, I, what I said to her um, I, I was just, I'll try. And it meant that I'll try to be the kind of man she would have wanted me to be. Uh, and that I've never forgotten. Long before Crawford was known as the man behind the mask, this multi-talented performer was known, believe it or not, for his pratfalls. He starred in the popular 1966 comedy A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Thank you. Crawford also played opposite a young Barbara Streisand in Hello, Dolly. Look! I'm dancing! Ah. Uh, can I have you right out there in the country, Gritweed? In 1967, he shared the screen with Without none other than help, John Lennon in the comedy How I Won the War. I love working with him. He'd be sitting cross-legged on a bed, strumming the guitar. We'd be sitting on the floor listening, and he's going, Strawberry feels forever. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I said, oh, John, honesty, it's great. <laughs> then in the 70s, Crawford became one of England's most popular TV stars. In all your but after some stage work in the early 80s, it was the Phantom that changed Crawford's life forever. Andrew Lloyd Webber took a leap of faith when he chose Crawford in 1987 to play the legendary role. And the risk paid off. Phantom of the Opera became the hottest ticket in musical theater, and Crawford went on to win a host of awards, including the Tony. We crucify this guy because he's deformed. There's nothing wrong with his soul, with his heart, with his being, with his, with his love. But we cannot bear to look at that, so discard him and put him under the stairs. What's it like to actually have a role like the Phantom, which becomes the defining role in your career? I found a release for a passion that I never was allowed before. I had the romance that was inside me um, was able to emerge. And... I could share that as a performer. Yes, love, love changes everything. Brings After more than 1,300 performances as the Phantom, Crawford launched a successful coast-to-coast 31-city -coast tour for his 1991 album, Michael Crawford Performs the Music of Andrew Lloyd Webber. On his latest hit album, A Touch of Music in the Night, Crawford shows off his heart-melting tenor with a wide variety of songs, including a duet with Patti LaBelle. I'm very, very happy. I mean, I love the diversity of things that I was allowed to go from, from my comedy series and, and be given a, a whole new life with Phantom and then a concert. Career. And now I'm introduced, I was introduced the other night on The Tonight Show as singer Michael Crawford. It's amazing. I never waste a single tear. For today, Rona Elliott, NBC News, Los Angeles. In just a short time, a touch of music in the night has jumped to the top of the charts for good reason. Now these messages. And listen to the music of the night.